there, it's Brie, the IVCLC. I'm here to talk to you today on how long sore nipples will last and my top three tips for those. So let's get started with tip number one. The first thing I wanna tell you about sore nipples is that there's a very big difference between normal tenderness that can happen after you have a baby versus toe curling pain. So especially in the last few weeks of pregnancy, it can be normal to start having very sensitive nipples. That's completely normal and that sensitivity can extend um, into those first couple of weeks after giving birth to your baby. So we know that breastfeeding is a new sensation. I don't know about all of you, but before I breastfed, I wasn't used to um, somebody sucking on my nipples every couple of hours. So we know that this is a new sensation for your nipples. And so there's gonna be some tenderness that's involved, but what's not normal is toe curling, ouch, ouch pain. That's not something that's just a normal part of breastfeeding. If you are just feeling some tenderness as your baby latches on, but it goes away throughout the feed, then don't be alarmed. This is just normal tenderness that happens. And it's something that will go away as your nipples learn to become more flexible and get used to breastfeeding um, and things will be looking good again. My second tip for you is that if you are experiencing sore nipples, especially in those first um, couple of weeks when you're feeling really engorged and then really full in your breasts. Sometimes if you imagine, if you're trying to put your mouth onto into a really big sandwich, it would be really hard for you to get your whole mouth onto a very, very big sandwich. So what we want to do is when your baby's coming onto the breast, not only squish that sandwich to the shape of their mouth so that they can get lots in there, but sometimes we have to let a little air out of the balloon. And what that means is that when that breast is so full and engorged, if we just hand express a little bit of breast milk, then when your baby comes to the breast, your breast will be softer and your baby will be able to get more breast tissue into their mouth, which is the important part. We don't want your baby to just latch onto the nipple because it's not nipple feeding, it's breastfeeding. So the best way to let some air out of the balloon so that your breast is not so full and so engorged is actually hand expression. And how you do that um, is, it's usually easiest when I teach first time parents to use both hands like this, but you can just use one hand. Um, and really you just hold your breast in a C shape and you bring your fingers together behind the areola. The areola, areola is this darkened area right here. And you'll kind of notice that there's a little bit of a sweet spot. So you'll notice that if you're back too far, you're not gonna see any drops coming out of your nipple. And if you're too far forward and you're trying to hand express, you may notice that there's no drops coming out. So this is something that takes a little bit of practice a little bit getting used to finding um, the that right spot for your hands. So don't be alarmed if it doesn't happen perfectly the first time that you try hand expression. The more you practice, the better that you'll get. And if you see drops forming on your nipple, you're doing it right. You're doing hand expression perfectly well. You can either catch those drops of breast milk or colostrum and feed it to your baby, or you can even just let the drops fall onto a burp cloth. Just um, um, the main focus being that you're just softening your breasts, letting some air out of the balloon or some breast milk so that when your baby does come to the breast, it can be softer and then you can avoid those sore nipples. Um, my third tip for you is that if you are ever in doubt, skin to skin is always a great option. Maybe you're having trouble with latching your baby. Sometimes you can be feeling a little frustrated because in those first few weeks, um, you establishing a great latch, it's tricky. Every time you bring your baby to the breast, it's going to be like, no, this way, no, this way, no, actually this way. And it's that way for everybody. So if you ever feel your, 
you feel yourself getting frustrated, maybe your baby's having trouble latching on, you can always hold your baby skin to skin. And skin to skin means that they don't, um, you don't have any layers between the two of you. You can get your baby down to a dry diaper and um, you wanna make sure that they're up against your skin. So you don't want a blanket in between you, you don't want a gown in between you or a shirt, anything like that. And you can just hold your baby up onto your chest like this and just let them rest there. Um, and then when they kind of start to peck around like a little chicken, you can move them down to the breast and try and latch them on again because we would much rather you both be calm and be practicing the right way to latch than to just be gritting your teeth and pushing through a bad latch that's painful. That's a long, sad road of sore nipples. So totally fine to take a break hold your baby skin to skin and learn and practice the correct way to latch so that hopefully you can just avoid those sad sore nipples altogether. Thanks so much for listening. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm going to have more videos, more tips and tricks. If you have any recommendations of future topics, I would love to hear. You can put them in the comments below. Thanks so much.